This is how the movies are made right here. Here we go, see? Just plugging this in. Now we got that charge and you get an adapter for that so that you can plug more things in. These chargers tend to take up both slots, so you gotta just manage. So we stayed in Barnegat Bay, New Jersey, and we decided not to go all through the night and make it to Cape May, but instead we're stopping here at Barnegat Bay. We're meeting up with someone who contacted us on our Facebook page. He said he had a slip at a bed and breakfast inn. So we're gonna take advantage of that slip, just get some showers, get food, get everything. But the craziest thing happened out there as I was coming through the channel, the Oyster Creek Channel, I believe it's called. Craziest thing, just went aground. First time I've ever gone aground. The depth sounder went down to about four and a half feet and the boat just went easily, felt like mucky sort of sand but it was soft. It was definitely a frightening experience. Something that I don't want to go through, but now I'll probably have to do that again, but that was the diciest thing. The channel got to be tiny. Let me see if I can show you. So if you look right here, we were right there. I'd say we went aground probably right here. Gets to be two feet. The channel's tiny. If, if you don't make that line, crazy experience. I'm glad we're out of it and we're gonna meet up with Michael Benson and hopefully have a good day. So this is exciting. Sorry. I've never done anything like this. <laughs> what is this called? It's um it's yeah I guess off road. Now this is my favorite part. Get ready for it. I'm not what is that? Here. What is that? It's about to get awesome. I don't that know. was a liver. That was like a liver. Awesome. Oh, I didn't know the tree was down. We're going to have to go another way. That right there. I don't know. That. Take a good look at it. Kill him out here and toss him. Looks like it. Here we go. We're going to descent right now. Now, when you descend stuff like this, you, the brake pedal's not your friend. Notice how I'm in the low key transfer case? I'm just coasting down this. The low transfer case, if you hit the brakes, you may skid. And skidding is uncontrolled and I make things a little edgy. Because edgy is exciting and edgy people remember. It's just fun. This is actually where I took my girlfriend on her second date, which was is like it? a wild move. You know, yeah, it is like, a wild, it's like yeah, a Yeah, because it's like, oh damn, this dude. Um, yeah, but that. it went nice. We had like a picnic. Oh, Stone Age guy. Yeah, absolutely. You know what? That was so fun. Thank I know it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have it all. It's a good one. Yeah, you were.
All right, so basically we're sitting on the keel right now. We'll probably hit bottom on the way out. We're ready for it, so. Barnegat Bay is shallow. About four foot eight of water, 4.8 feet of water right now. What's our draft? Over five feet. Am I in the middle of eight? I'd say you're in the middle. We just got out of the first bad spot. First shallow location. Success. Forked River. That was Mike right there. He's uh, really been a great help to us. He just told us he's got a Reddit campaign going for us. And uh, should be getting a lot of uh, traffic from uh, his advertisement. So, very much appreciated. It was cool how he met us out there. And uh, it was one last goodbye seeing him sailing on his boat as we were passing our boat, so it was really cool. We're approaching the pilings at Oyster Creek. And it's gonna get a hairy going through there. Last time going through Oyster Creek Channel, we went around, We're about to take it on again. We gotta get out of here. Just keep it slow. You don't want to be going at a high speed or else you'll get really stuck in there going aground. There's also other factors like the, the current and the wind which push you off the side of the channel, so it's tough. Kate getting ready for the uh, Oyster Creek Channel. Ready, Oyster Creek. Ready. Put six of water. Just want to ground it. Four feet, five inches. Backing us out. Backing us out right now. And then I'm going to go right to that nun, I think. Got through the hairiest part of the whole Oyster Creek area. That was nerve wracking, honestly. How about being waked by five consecutive power being, boats? Being waked by five consecutive power boats, also being waked the while we were aground. We were being waked while we were aground. If you look closely, just there about you can see the shoals. Topping off the water tank at Lighthouse Marina. We're gonna anchor at the same place we anchored the first night we were here. 